Well, hello again. Welcome back to our little shop. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about a Stratocaster that a very discerning customer of mine brought in to have some work done on. Uh, this gentleman actually does a lot of recording and stuff, so his gear has to be quiet and performing on top of its game at all times which makes it a little challenging for me on occasion, but eh, it keeps me on my toes. So anyway, what we're going to talk about today is he wanted to remove the noiseless pickups from the guitar because a lot of us at Play Fenders believe that the uh, noiseless pickups do not sound like the single coils do. So, but the problem with that is they hum. So what we've done with this guitar, we've replaced the noiseless pickups with a set of vintage style single coil pickups that are not hum canceling. The middle pickup is not reverse wound. We had a reason for doing that. I want to point out at this time that this guitar right now is plugged into my bench amp which is a Fender Bronco. There is a bright stick immediately above the guitar on the bench to induce hum and for light. <laughs> there is a another fluorescent light directly above the guitar bench mounted to ceiling and three other ceiling mounted fluorescent lights the length of the shop. So we're surrounded by fluorescent lights and this thing should be making a lot of noise. just so that you realize that it is working. Yeah, we do have our hums and stuff like touching the pole pieces and all that. Right now the rear pickup is the only one functioning. It's actually switched on with the switch. Any hum that you hear right now will disappear when you put the guitar up in playing position and change the axis angle to the fluorescence. But this thing's dead quiet. Yes, we're not touching the string ground or anything here. Now, how do we accomplish that? This is an old trick. And I'm going to open the guitar up and show you what I've done. Hang tight. Okay, we're in. I want to show you what we've done here. We installed a dummy coil right here to act as a humbucking coil when the pickups are activated. So that's why we do not have the middle reverse wound pickup it's because with each individual pickup it's hum canceling. It's still hum canceling on the in-between positions just not a hundred percent. So what this dummy coil is is actually even simpler. This is just an economy strat pickup that I took out of the cover, took the magnets out of, and took the coil and everything out and just shielded it and double side taped it to the back of the pickguard and butted up against the rear pickup. In this guitar we could do that because there was room in the route for the rear pickup. So to do it properly, the hot lead is connected to the hot output lead on the switch the ground lead is, of course, soldered to ground. And I went through the trouble of shielding this, make sure it had shielded cable and all that, just so it didn't induce any more noise of its own. Okay? So to show you what this sounds like without the coil, hang on a second because I have to unhook it. Okay, we're back. <laughs> you hear the hum? That's when I unhooked the dummy coil. That's how much hum would be on this at any time. There we go, I've reconnected it and you see we're all back you know, to quiet land. What I recommend to do on this, if you want to try to do this, is use a coil that has two leads and a shield on it. You'll have to find which way you have to lay the coil, you may have to flip it over 
and which lead you need to connect to ground and which lead needs to be hot. And what you're doing is you're wiring this in parallel with your switch that's on all the time. And since it is a passive coil, it will not actually be affecting the tone of the guitar. So there you go. Old trick, seldom used. The cool thing about this is uh, you can use your P90s, you can use Strat pickups, you can use Tele pickups, any single coil. Uh, this predominantly showed up in bases way back when. And it's a really cool idea and way to keep things working really well. Another cool benefit is it really messes with anybody if they want to measure the resistance of your pickups. Let's say you have a 6500 ohm Strat pickup and a 6000 ohm passive coil. You're going to read somewhere around 3000 ohms uh, resistance with, with the rear pickup. And you're going to have less than that with the middle pickup on or any combination. So uh, that can actually make people scratch their heads a little bit too. But there you go. Simple solution. I hope you get a little bit of insight from this. I hope it gives you a couple ideas. So until next time, play nice. I'll see you later.